Well, welcome to the Manulife LPGA Classic Bob Weeks along with Jason Logan with our tournament preview. And Jason, this is the fourth edition of this tournament, but it is the first year at a new golf course, which we'll get into in just a minute. But it's a stellar field here, 92 of the top 100 money winners. And we are going to pick a favorite and also a Canadian. It could be the same if you want, but uh, it's going to be a favorite and a Canadian. And you get the first pick amongst the Canadians, and I'm going to go way out in the limb and just guess who you're going to pick. I'll give you a hint. She's a first year pro. She's only 17. And uh, no, I'm going to take Brooke Henderson. Uh, given the opportunity, why wouldn't I? Brooke Henderson has been very impressive as a professional this in her first year. And even though there's she's going to be a lot of spotlight and a lot of attention on Brooke, this being her first tournament in Canada as a professional, I don't think she minds it. And I think she craves it. And I just think she's going to focus on the golf. And at the end of the day, she's just simply the best Canadian right now. All right, well, I'm going to uh, go out on a limb as well. The second best Canadian on the LPGA Tour is Elena Sharp. I think that Elena is actually due for a breakthrough. She's been playing pretty well, not all that consistently yet, but she has a lot of good options, I think, right now in terms of being here. She's got basically a hometown crowd that's going to be chasing her around. She's got lots of friends and family here. She likes being back in Canada, and she's actually starting to hit the ball really, really well right now. She's confident with her putting, confident with her ball striking, so that suits well. I'm also going to now go for my main pick, and for that I'm going to go to NB Park who is the defending champion here. Talk about going out on a limb, just like you did. But Envy plays really well in Canada. In the last six events she's played in Canada, both Canadian Women's Open and the Manual Life, she's got a win last year, two seconds, and a third place. So that's a pretty good record here. She's also coming off some very fine play this year. She has not finished out of the top 20 the entire season on the LPGA Tour. I think she's a pretty good pick. I'm going to go with somebody who's been out of the winner's circle for a long, long time, and too long, really and that would be Morgan Pressel. And you spoke about NB Park's last six events in Canada. Morgan Pressel's last six events, period, she's finished in the top three, three times. So another player who's starting to play really well again. She's due for a win. She's been in contention. She almost won a major earlier this year. She's just such a, a personable person too. I think she would be a, a great a great winner for this event. So I'm gonna go with Morgan Pressel. All right, she also has a Canadian agent in Chris Armstrong. So there's her Canadian connection there. Let's talk about this golf course. This is the first year. We had three years at Gray Silo. And now we have moved over to uh, Whistle Bear Golf Course. And as you can probably tell by the way our shirts and our hair are moving around, there is generally a lot of wind at this golf course, so I think uh, that's something that the players are going to have to deal with. Yeah, the wind is going to whistle, excuse the pun, all week long here. And it's a big golf course, and it's wide open, and it's broad, and there's only a couple holes, really, that meander into the tree line. But that doesn't mean you can just blast away, because there's so much fescue between the fairways, a lot of spectator mounding, but a lot of places where you can get into trouble. So I still think golfers have to plod their way along, not just grip it and rip it. Hence my Morgan Pressel pick, and maybe hence my Brooke Henderson pick as well. Stacey Lewis had a good line. She said, the one thing about this golf course is the 18th hole with the grandstands around it. When you climb up the hill to the clubhouse, it has a feel of a big event. And she says, that's what we like. So I think you're going to see a lot of inspired play here. Keep it at scoregolf.com. All week we'll have full coverage here from Cambridge, Ontario and the Manulife LPGA Classic.